Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, just gonna do a quick short video here for you. Um, we had leg day today. It was freaking awesome, man. I'll tell you what. Finally back on track after hurting my back last week. Boy, it was. It felt good to lift those weights. Anyways, um, real quick, uh, Warrior Dash of Saturday. Those that are doing the dash with us, good luck. If I don't see you beforehand, um, and the newsletter. This week's newsletter, hey Tom, how you doing? This week's newsletter, I promised you guys that I was going to expand upon the uh, digestive, that, I can't say that word, digestive system and how your food goes through your body, how long it takes if you go like to a restaurant, eat something that you weren't supposed to eat and you're stepping on the scale going, oh my God. Um, yeah, so I, I expanded on that and there is an awesome, somebody wanted a Cocoa Puff uh, recipe and I tried it out. I got a down pat. It's in the newsletter, so above, click the link, uh, sign up for it. You can always opt out if you don't want it anymore, but who would do that? You wouldn't do that to me, would you? <laughs> Anyways, um, today I wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, we were talking in the gym about um, food triggers. Um, so sometimes you'll be sitting there and you'll like people will be bored or uh, like me. I know personally, uh, my food trigger, the thing that that sets me off is if I don't get enough sleep. If I'm tired, boy, I could eat everything in the refrigerator. It doesn't matter what it is, I'm going to eat it. Um, but once you get to that point, whether you're bored or whatever, um, a, a trigger is basically your your food that sets you off course for overeating. Um, Personally, I don't keep that stuff in my house, but I'll like eat anything. So I was like, oh my God, I'll just, if I, if I get to that point, I just have to have something. I have to go to bed. That's what I have to do. But anyways, um, when you get to that point, uh, lots of people, they like the, the sweet, the salty, they go for the uh, snacky type things. Um, but once you actually start eating it, what happens is it starts engaging your senses and your nervous system actually tells your body to release insulin and you get a drop in blood glucose and it makes you want more food your stomach starts going oh my god i'm hungry which then you start you just really indulge and you overeat it's like the binge eating um so the, we were talking in the gym today the best way you can stop it is to st just basically stop it for before it begins like i said when i get overtired I just go right to bed. I'm like, I know I'm going to go to the refrigerator. I know I'm going to eat whatever is in there. It doesn't matter what it is. So I just go right to bed and I go to sleep. Um, some of the other things that you can do is say, like, if you have a couple bites and you go, oh, my God, you know, I just had like three bites of chocolate bar. What am I doing? Um, stop yourself. Stop yourself in a track. Um, try to get something healthy to eat so your body thinks, okay, it's still eating, but at least you're not, like, overindulging and eating an entire bag of uh, potato chips or anything. So you want to stop and change directions, eat something healthy, and most important of all, get back on track. The worst thing that I see people do, they'll, they'll come to me and they'll be like, okay, they're going good, they're going good, and they're going good. And then all of a sudden they have this binge and they're missing their MIA from the gym for like five days. And the third day I'm texting them, I'm emailing them, I'm Facebooking them, where are you, where are you, where are you? And I find out they just went on this binge, they stopped their nutrition completely, they've been eating left and right, the 20 pounds that they lost and now gained back 12, and they're freaking out. So the best thing you could do, so you screwed up, you know, just jump right back on your nutrition and start over. And like I said, when you read the uh, newsletter with the digestion, it's going to take a couple days for that to go off of you. But that's okay. As long as you get back on track so that's what I wanted to talk to you about that was about it I got a ton of things to do uh, before I go to bed at night and we have our uh, festivities for the weekend so um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow you have a good one and see you later bye